is the Waffle Bros. I'm Corwin. And I'm Uko. And today we are back with more Power Wash Simulator, and we are going to be playing the Warhammer 40k DLC. Um, even the stepladder is all steampunkish. Yeah. And steampunk. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> This is amazing. This is amazing. It's instantly I'm, my favorite thing. I'm all thing. like, do 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 do. I'm loving it. Uh, can I can I only use this like uh, crappier uh, power washer here? Hey, the emperor paid for that thing. Yeah, but it it should be it should be higher quality. It should be higher quality. Can I buy like a better Warhammer <laughs> power washer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a better Warhammer power washer. Apparently not, man. Apparently not. We're just stuck with uh, the Emperor's you know, favorite sprayer. Yes, the Emperor's favorite sprayer, which is what he calls his penis. That's that's what the Emperor calls his penis. I can't, Sadly, uh, he's probably catheterized yeah, permanently. permanently. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, okay, you're gonna need, you're gonna need lots of metal cleaner for this because everything and like uh, chaos away. <laughs> yes, chaos away, because everything has been covered in a heavy coating of chaos spunk. Just a just a sham wow and elbow grease ain't gonna cut it. Okay? No, no, because the thing is, you may have elbow grease, but they were hitting you with hitting it with penis grease. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how the chaos marines roll. Fucking they just dick spunk grink. over dick everything. Grease. <laughs> I, I'm not like a to name be thinking about as if this is some sort of aftermath from me playing a very one of the various Warhammer 40k games. You know, it's like this is where in Bolt Gun I played that cut mission where, uh, where you get into a tank, you get into a tank, and Whoa. you splatter uh, pink cars all over it. I want you got that the mission. Pink cars, then the blue waffles, and then the uh, the brown holes, and. All of those things. All that this of is those sounding things. more and more like a delicious breakfast cereal um, again. <laughs> We've talked about this. Yeah, I, I can I, I can see that. I can see that. We need to indoctrinate the children to worship the Emperor. Um well obviously. I mean not us, but the people in Warhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't yet have an Emperor. Okay. That's that's that is fortunate. That's for next decade to worry about. Not this, Not decade this decade yeah. to worry about. Yaha. Uh -huh. Um we're I, I assume this thing belongs to the ultramarines. Okay, because it's all blue and uh -huh. etc. I was reading a whole bunch of Warhammer lore the other day, but unfortunately Did most of it drop out of your a brain? A lot of it dropped out of my brain. I need to read some Warhammer books. That's yeah, what I when need it's to be doing. Contextualized and not just on like Warpedia or whatever then it'll, it'll stick in your head because for the last for the last like couple of years i've been reading like a book a day on average so uh you've stuffed your head with... i've stuffed my head with lots of books and now i must stuff my head with even more with the warham <laughs> warham war will certainly the warham will certainly leave a stain if you leave it on your tank yes Yes, it also, will. Also, if I but sound... don't leave it on your taint. That's Ew. that's just all wrong. If I sound a little strange, it's because I'm kind of leaned back more in my chair than usual. Um, is there I a don't reason really, for that? Not really, but I was just feeling it. <laughs> you're just, this is you're a just relaxed, kicking back. Okay? It's a relaxed game. It's a relaxed game. You know game, what I mean? And you got a relaxed mood. Relaxed attitude over here. Yeah. It's I'm it's not, a it's a mood. Is I that extended what you're saying? my microphone to the same place in front of my head. So it shouldn't really. But, but your your throat might be like configured differently or something like that. Or my that. like uh, thorax. This is also the first game that we've recorded using my uh, RTX 4080 Super. So Which obviously this is needed for that for this game. Oh yeah, know? obviously this All game the dirt is going gonna to tax that like crazy. We with okay, the 240 yeah. FPS I have right now. Corwin managed to pounce upon the when it went on sale. Pounce upon it like a beast, like a cheap good one. Uh, yeah. yeah, like actually, actually reasonably priced for what it is. Not not someone selling it for outrageous scalper money. We would never do business with scalpers anyway. But uh, but then we finally got around to installing it and. Uh, we really actually had to use the installation bracket this time. Yeah, that was I, kind of cool. Like, I don't like the idea of having to install GPU anti sag brackets because it seems like extra work. <laughs> but uh, but this, this one time, needed it. This thing, it was the size and weight of a brick. 
So uh, I kind of felt actually it was bigger than a brick. It was I'll like, be honest. It was like two phone books and a dildo. Okay. Um. Yeah. Get a put two phone books in the dildo oh and a dildo that yeah that makes much more sense than what i thought you said yep. i thought you said two phone books in a dildo and that, yeah, that you doesn't don't, make don't do that any sense well, i mean to be fair the last time i physically saw a phone book it was on someone's doorstep soaked in the rain yeah i was about to say the last when i think of phone books i think about them being rain soaked yeah and which is weird given that we live in texas and it's not like it rains all the time in Texas, it's but just that people were not going to bring that just in like, their house. going to bring that in, and then when it got all nasty and moldy, they'd be like, "Oh, I had to throw this Finally, away." Finally, I will take it the two feet back to my trash can. Before it poisons yeah. me or my children, <laughs> and then then like inscribe, get out a uh, a uh, a jackknife and inscribe onto your trash can. If they bring any more phone books, please put them in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, a jackknife to really bring that nineteenth century energy to it. Yeah, of course, because of course, they were the knives that were favored by uh, Jack the Ripper. That's why they were called Jack knives. That's not true at all. No, it's not. He used, he used a fixed bladed knife, like 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 a proper like, stabber, like, like, like someone who didn't want the knife to fold up and cut everybody, including the person he was cutting. So, okay, what do you think this has been destroying? I mean, does this has there been a chaos spunking on this? I think that it just ran through a bunch of uh, orcs. Pink Maybe it ran orcs over and, orcs. Yeah. That's what it is. It ran over I mean, orcs. It's hard to run over. And now it's filled with mushrooms. It's hard to run over an orc because they're so fast. But, you know, if they stand their ground, you got to do it. I mean, look, we weren't that fast when we were playing. We got run over by some tanks, in fact, when we were playing. Uh, Blood shooters and teeth. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that may just be because we don't have the natural reflexes and response time of a real orc. Yeah. But, you know. Either way, I've got some DACA for them in my pants. <laughs> yeah. -huh. Eventually, that, like, DACA squadron uh, flight sim, action flight sim game will go on sale again. I regret not getting it. I didn't even it. know that was a thing. Yeah, I regret not getting it when it was, like, $5. Because, like, they had, like, mixed reviews at the time. But now, now it's gone up to, like, better reviews. And I'm like, how bad can it be? It's a orc flight simulator. Well, I you know still what I mean? want to, at some point, when we get back into playing VR on the YouTube channel, I'm going to play the... Warcraft, like War Warcraft, Warhammer, Sisters of Battle, or whatever VR. Yes, and also because... possibly that other one set in the Warhammer uh, non forty k universe. I it's did a, not know that was. Yeah, a thing. there's a VR one for that too. I mean, I'd play that. Oh yeah, I I, I muchly prefer forty k to regular Warhammer. I, I know that maybe some people might think that to be well. It's you wrong, know what it is is that it's just Warhammer forty k. It's my way. Warhammer 40k is entirely unique, even though other things have kind of cribbed it, and it cribbed from some other stuff with, like, you know, uh, renewed aristocracies in space and far, far ridiculous futures and yeah. Latin terms and all that stuff. It's still, nothing is quite exactly like Warhammer 40k. I agree with but that. But there's a lot of I stuff agree with that. that's pretty similar to OG Warhammer, non, yeah. the, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like hating on it. No, it's no reason to hate. I'm just, just saying it's a fantasy setting, like, of which there are many. Exactly. Exactly. I could go, I could go read some Tolkien, except, you know, Tolkien's writing isn't that great. Yeah, I, I am on the Tolkien's writing is that not that great uh, side of that argument, by the way. It's not that his writing is horrible. It's Honestly, just not that great. In reality, if it weren't for the fact that he had, he had such a, um, a forceful, acerbic personality, by all accounts, he really ought to have had a writing partner where he could come up with all the lore and elf languages and crazy shit for the, for the world building, and then somebody else could write like the dialogue and shit. You know, yep, that would have really that. helped. I agree yes, with yeah, that. Yes, we're critiquing completely. Tolkien. <laughs> well, I mean, look, it's not exactly a new critique to no. say that his actual writing was a little, uh, was a little, uh, a little sparse. Left a lot to be desired. His dialogue is a little sparse and not really realistic. I agree with that. On the other hand, part, I agree of, part with that. of it is that it, it refers to concepts we don't really have anymore. Like, you know, because just, just. I heard somebody talking about this this just the other day that it, they it, they hadn't really processed the fact that Frodo is technically like uh, Sam's master, like he's his boss, not, not not just his boss. He's like he's a, Sam is a servant. He's, he's like, like a his, butler, um, gardener, butler, something like that. Yeah. yeah, and he refers to him as master. 
he, which he's is a little his, strange. He's his manservant. That's what it is. Yeah, his, that's the his Batman or whatever. Yeah, his, yeah. His, his uh, uh, what did they call um, Jeeves and Wooster? A uh, footman or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Maybe even or a butler. Yeah, there, there's another word that I'm that they referred to them as gentle a gentleman's personal gentleman. <laughs> that sounds sexual. Yeah, okay. It, it, all of this is a, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit sexual in that charming non sexual way. I agree with that. I agree or vice with that. versa. But uh, I mean, look, there's nothing sexual about uh, two hobbits rub rubbing their feet together with oil. No, I was gonna say <laughs> about destroying um, a whole bunch of uh, whatever the fuck uh, Xenos in. Uh, Here's the thing in World of Warcraft. Maybe there's uh, nothing. World of War. Okay, I got WoW on the brain or something. Warcraft, Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Bro, did you just invent? Warcraft 40k? Um, okay, I'd play World of Warcraft 40k. Yeah. <laughs> I would play World of Warcraft I would, 40k. I would scrape together and double course, the subscription money for that. I will once again say, though, I will once again say that StarCraft is a really, is the poorest man's uh, Warhammer, Warhammer 40k. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's just a science fact right there Except come on get inside it get inside of that dirty hole i do appreciate the need for more pylons yes gotta have additional pylons i mean you gotta so, pile on the pylons do you think that if i ran for mayor of the town we live in which we won't mention um <laughs> yeah, yeah no shit do you think i could win on the strategy that i i vow to build additional additional pylons <laughs> That's I mean, just my entire I vote fucking, for additional pylons. Yeah, that's just my entire fucking platform is we need additional pylons, and I will fucking build them. And then it turns <laughs> out that by pylons, you mean brothels. <laughs> what else would you mean? Pylon, the pylons. <laughs> Legalize yep. the bordello. Uh, this is this has gone in a strange it went, direction. That went, it went weird. It's gone right? in a strange yeah. direction. I mean, look. Our videos always go in strange directions. Maybe and a little weirder than usual. Especially our power wash videos always go in strange directions because it gives us the time to just say whatever crazy shit comes into Wait our minds. Am I imagining that there was or is going to be a Jurassic Park crossover with this game? Uh, I, I think you're imagining that there is going to be some like really high quality looking Jurassic Park game though. That's like a, it looks like it's a retelling of the if, first movie. If they and the people who run Power Wash Simulator don't get together and let us power wash the Jurassic Jeeps, I don't know what they're fucking thinking. Okay, I agree with it's that. It's to the level that uh, I okay, literally. You know what you need to, you know what you need to uh, get to wash off. You know, right at the very beginning of the movie. Oh, when they put the uh, when that guy that gets, guy gets mauled by the raptor or yeah, whatever. Yeah, he gets sucked into the raptor crate. Yeah, yeah. hoses blood and and. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. That, that that needs to be something. Yeah. That you get to wash off now. Oh, also, the cow harness. You see, I would have thought that the way you would clean things in the Warhammer universe would be with lasers. Okay, that's yeah, what I would have thought. Because, yeah, has everybody not seen the unbelievably satisfying videos of laser cleaning? Yeah. Because you pause the video right now, look up satisfying laser cleaning, and watch some of that You'll shit. You'll thank us later. And then come back. You'll thank us later. Because <laughs> also... And if somebody tries to, like, clean a dirty rug with lasers and... <laughs> just to be clear, house fire. you got to keep the sound on, but make sure it's not cranked like crazy. Oh, yeah. Because it'll blast your ear ears off of your face. Yeah, no, no ear blasting. Thank you very much. No ear blasting, but uh, but yeah, I blast literally the lasers. Uh, the Jurassic Park crossover with this game is so perfect that I literally you couldn't just remember envisioned if it, was, it being yeah, a thing. I couldn't even remember it's if not. it was real or not. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm still not sure. <laughs> it's I don't think it is. It needs to be. It does make me wonder what's next for this game. I mean, I think a Doom crossover I was is gonna say that. absolutely essential. Just the entirety of E1M1, just go bananas with it. Like just, you know, bits of bits of every Doom, that would be cool. Oh, that yeah. would be cool. You or, know, got, or, or get maybe something just from Doom 1, Doom clean, 2, Doom clean, 3. Just power wash an entire pinky demon. Oh. <laughs> power wash in its backside, its <laughs> pink backside, oh. and its pink front side. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking or about. Like, uh, we got the uh, sure, Laz Cannon targeting surveyor. You could power wash uh, the BFG like testing facility. Oh yeah, that's a big map though. 
and then you power wash um what's his Samuel Hayden or whatever his name is you know the the, the guy robot in the dude. robot yeah better the make sure that is uh, isotonic you know distilled water so he doesn't short out actually no fuck him short him out I've talked about how he annoys me before. Yeah, yeah. He's an asshole. He's always trying to tell us what to do when we're the Doom guy. The Doom guy does what he wants. And what he wants is He's to rip um, and tear until violence. it's done. Yeah. He wants violence and he will have violence. A uh, thank you very much. I don't think you should watch filtration systems in this way. It just yeah. doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I was all. I was going to say that before. But whatever. If if all these you know orc guts and and juices. I mean, also this thing, it's probably got like, you know, seven fusion reactors inside of it. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, it runs on like solvated. The only reason fusion. we're bothering to clean it is probably so it can you know show up on a on a parade or something like that. Oh, yeah. It runs on solvated fusion juice. When this thing parades on the top of a hive city. Like, it probably causes earthquakes oh, yeah. that kills people I in the bottom of the high city. I was thinking about this. Before we even started, I was thinking about this, right? That if you're on a planet with, like, dirt, the dirt is made out of, like, little rocks and, you know, chunks of trees and chunks of, like, whatever, you know, whatever animals and whatnot, right? But mainly little rocks, okay? But if you <laughs> live in a hive city and and something is has dirt on it, it's either going to either, either it's either going to be skin flakes or ground pieces up of hair. Uh, pieces of hair ground up uh, particles of the buildings you yeah know, no little rocks and it's not actually dirt it's just like it's it's fake dirt it's real fake dirt i mean little rocks sounds like a great um rap name ah uh, but i don't really associate arkansas with with great rap <laughs> groups <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Little Rock. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I just think it's funny that's the name of a city. I see what you're saying. Uh, uh, but prove prove me wrong, Arkansas. <laughs> prove me wrong. <laughs> I will listen to your bars, okay? And listen to their bards. Indeed. But uh, yeah, I I associate Arkansas more with um Bill Clinton, the country music, and the Bill Clinton, yep. and that uh. That, like, doctor who caused all sorts of people to die with his, uh... Or, no, caused all sorts of people to be imprisoned with his bad testimony. That's the one. Oh, that's yeah. The, that's the one. <laughs> I forgot all about that scandal. Yep. Look, that's just a that's, that's just a real thing 90, that happened. 90,000 okay. scandals back, okay? <laughs> that's like... just a real thing that happened. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. I mean, it's not hilarious for the people who, you know, were wrongfully imprisoned, but it's... It's sort of hilarious to think back on. I don't know why. I don't know why. But the important well, it's, thing it's, is... It's, um, it's clownish. Yeah, yeah. Look, the important thing is it didn't happen where I live. Exactly. We have we have our own clownish shit here in Texas, though. So, uh, yeah. you know, it's not exactly like I can be like, oh, of course, Texas, the land of the perfect. <laughs> because... Yeah, we're not perfect. That that just ain't true. Hey, this year, we, had, we didn't have any winter-related power outages, which yeah. is probably due to the fact that we had zero winter... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, a little bit. It's, we had it's like we had two degrees. snowy days. Okay, yeah, that's true. Which, by like the standards of people who come ah. from a truly snowy, snowy, snowy place, would be like combined. It would be like a quarter of a snowy day. Oh yeah. But regardless, I mean, for us, it was a snowy day. Last week or, or this week, I mean, it went from almost ninety degrees down back down to it's now forty one degrees. Yeah, it shouldn't be ninety. I be feel like it I'm was, taking it was drugs. It was ninety five degrees at one point. Oh, did it, it get to 95? 95 degrees, yes. <laughs> it shouldn't be 95 <laughs> degrees in February. And then 41 okay? again. Not in not in this, you know, hemisphere should it be 95 degrees. In this part of the country, at this latitude, at this, at this time, time of, of the year. year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just not right, man. Shouldn't be fucking I mean, 95 degrees. There's also going to be a solar eclipse, which I guess we're going to try to go see. Yeah, yeah. The solar eclipse and the oral eclipse. I don't need to see no solar eclipse. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I am a little bit afraid that I will accidentally look at it and get blinded. Yeah, no one wants to get blinded. And it's just such I can a... see darkness anytime. <laughs> yeah, look at this. I'm covering my eyes right now. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah. It's not even Christmas, but how would I know? I can't see shit. I can see darkness anytime I want. <laughs> It somehow this looks like it's got a lock on the back of it, but I know it's just sort of like towing hook or something like that. Well, that it's for cowards then. Wait, no, it's on the it's on the back, so it's for towing. It's people. for towing other people. Yeah, 
I mean, look, after it's been destroyed, you might have to, you know, tow it away. Anyway. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah. you don't want any Xenos getting their hands on it. That's that's just yeah. That's just how it is. I, I'm this telling track you, is still so filthy, and yet I can't see so very much, much of it. filth. <laughs> I get. Wait, can you buy uh, juices? Uh, oh, I can buy it. I don't know why. I have tons of it. Tons of the cleaning, uh, tons of money with which to buy cleaning liquids. I don't. I was like, well, well I only started. The slow with, portion of the video is now over. Oh, they're all out of stock. Oh, so okay, uh, we're not stupid. Okay, we're retroactively not stupid. <laughs> yes, retroactively not stupid. Okay, I'm gonna try finishing cleaning the outer armor, and uh, the outer armor. The outer armor. Yes, you have a. Do you have a? Do you have a problem? So the outer armor is not the, the outer armor. The outer armor is the opposite of the under armor. Yes, yes, it is. This thing skeeves me out. We'll just put it to the side. We'll put it to the side and worry about it later. And uh, for now, we'll just clean this way. Um, I need this to be a little bit closer and a little bit turned. I need it to be a little bit closer. Why won't it go there? I think that it's like clipping onto that thing or something like that. So that'll, that'll whatever, work. man, whatever. Um, Somebody got like a, left a giant handprint on it. I wonder if it was an orc. Probably was. It was probably an orc, and uh, he left a giant handprint on it. I'm still saying he mushroom that, uh, stamped it. Oh, you get it? Because uh, they're mushrooms. Because they're yeah. mushrooms. It's really weird that they're mushrooms. Yeah, I know. It's weird, and it seems inappropriate. Yes, inappropriate that they're humanoid mushrooms, and there's not mushroom for error. Uh huh. You knew I was going to say that. I'm telling you, they need to start. They need to team up with that magic spoon company and make Xenos. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. Look, I'm just doing the the lazy man's method of cleaning. Okay, and just you know adjusting the mouse slightly, and then strafing in a different direction. That's the lazy man's cleaning method. Hey, strafing worked for our forefathers. It'll work for us. I agree with that. Uh, stray fingering. I don't know why Whoa. I said that. I don't know why I said that. It just made me sound like a pervert. A bit of the old stray fingering. I guess when you when you when you engage in constant war and nothing else, you really do get some grime going. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong about that. Because everyone knows in the grimdark future of the year forty thousand and something, there is only war. And uh, that is I mean, the slogan. Look, it is also it's in the name. Warhammer. Exactly. It's not Peace Hammer. Nobody would play Dude, Peace Hammer. Peace Hammer sounds like a really kick ass, like 70s funk band. Peace like Hammer. Like they open for Parliament, Funkadelic, you know, all that. <laughs> yup. Hell yeah. Peace Bunk. Fucking Peace Hammer peace is my Hammer. new funk band, I'm telling you. Peace <laughs> Hammer 9000. <laughs> But look, you can make anything cooler by adding the number 9,000 to the end. In yeah. The you know, it just, uh, that's how it works. Oh, I'll clean out your pipe, love. I'll clean out love. your engine pipe. <laughs> I mean, I did. I cleaned out her engine pipe. That's how it works over here. And your inner track armor. I think it'd be interesting if they also did a collaboration with, uh, whatever world war one game and gave us a real actual accurate world war one tank too totally accurate world war one simulator um how come there's no world war one tank for totally accurate battle simulator oh uh, maybe even one of those little tiny italian tanks oh my god or yes tiny french tanks yes yes oh my god see back in the day Dude. people just had wild crazy ideas about how to do tank armor and stuff and they just rolled with it. They just, uh, <laughs> ah, rolled with it. Yeah. Look, uh -huh. they got to tread their they own had a one, path. They, had a, they didn't have a one track mind. Okay. See? Yes. What I'm saying? They, exactly. didn't, they didn't just want to retread the same ground. They had a, they, they, <laughs> they were going to tread their own path. That's all I'm saying. That's all uh, I'm freaking saying about this. What the hell? Did this make like a, or I'm, oh, I'm wearing power armor. That's cool. why it's like when I jump. Either I'm wearing power armor or something like an exoskeleton, a sexoskeleton. Oh my! Well, of course the uh, the the space marines have to wear a sexoskeleton well, if they want to get it yeah. done. But I mean, but at the same, you know, it's it's bad that you have to have you know, uh, an an external apparatus 
Uh, but on the on the other hand, you can program in moves <laughs> and do them at the same way every time. For the lazy man's hump. <laughs> exactly. It's like, uh, I'm going to set this on loop and take a nap. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> sounds very efficient. Yeah, it does. And not very fun, but uh, very efficient. That's that's what matters in the space future. Oh, yeah. Is, actually, no. This doesn't seem to matter at all in the, in the space future, honestly, because that's why everything's all like, just build more hive cities. Just build more. Well, everything's toilets. got all these like you know fancy little uh, gubbins on them, as oh, yeah. a Brit might say. Also, I did imply just now that they have group toilets. Um, they probably yeah. do. Group toilets, group sex. They you don't know. have they don't have them group toilets no more, do they? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? No, no, I don't. One of the times that Homer went into the military, and. Uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot somebody on the one Simpsons. of those times yeah. that Homer joined the military. All I can think of is the time where he joined the Navy. Yeah. Maybe that's the only time he joined the yeah. military. I don't know. But uh, That was a good episode. So by this point in The Simpsons, supposedly, you know, Homer is a millennial now. Yeah. And it makes me, it makes me wonder, does, like, rather than having been in Vietnam... Does Principal Skinner now have, like, Gulf War Syndrome? <laughs> that's that's what I choose to oh believe God, from now yes. on, is that Principal Skinner has Gulf War Syndrome. Wait, it was it was the, it was when Skinner went back into the army that the, yeah. the guy gets off the bus and was like, they don't have no group toilets no more, do they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that, see, we're remembering Simpsons, we're at the stage of the video where we're remembering Simpsons episodes. Or speculating... And, on Principal Skinner uh, having Gulf War Syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I could see that, though. That would be I pretty funny. That. I mean, you know, they have to navigate that carefully, otherwise they just offend no one, or offend everyone and make no one laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, like, 20 years from now, Principal Skinner will be suffering from, like, mesothelioma because of the burn pits. Oh, and, my uh, God. That's just, uh, that's just how the Can Simpsons somebody explain is going to continue. Me- what it is that the the Simpsons voice actors eat and like do to be immortal? Um, tell that to the woman who voiced. Uh, oh, Edna Mrs. Grabble. Grabble. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But all the rest of them appear to be act. They must be eating placentas, or it's drink, vampires drinking baby blood or something. They're yeah. vampires. Yeah, just all that it is. That that's yeah. Have you ever seen simple... Have you ever seen Hank's area in the sun? Seen him Hank in his area in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but. I said it anyway, and no one can stop me. That's uh, that's how it works to be a YouTuber. He puts on his Mo accent. I guess time. technically YouTube could stop me, but they yeah. won't. He puts on his Mo accent every time he goes to feed. Give me the blood of the innocent. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the bad Mo, but it's a but it's a good try. Yes, a bad Mo. When I was a child, whenever I'd hear of mohair suits. I still don't know what they are. I don't know exactly what they are, but I always wanted to see the legendary Mo, the animal. The you stalk the wily Mo through the jungle. Yeah, exactly. And kill it for its pelt. Yeah, but that's that's what I always wanted when I was a child is to one day go to the zoo and see the Mo. <laughs> the reticulated Mo. Yup. I mean, I've talked about this before on the channel, but the Dallas Zoo, it had like they must have gotten a whole bunch of dick dicks for on the on cheap, sale yeah. or something like that. Somebody slapping the hood of the dick dick and being you know being like I can I can hook you up with forty of these for the price of yeah like an elephant tusk yeah exactly <laughs> or more like four hundred of these they're everywhere. Yup, because there are a bunch of dick dicks or at least there were I assume all of the dick dicks that were alive at the zoo when I was a kid are now dead are now dead but they, they probably I don't know how long a dick dick they probably lives laid, but it can't be that long they probably laid their gazelle eggs and they hatched <laughs> and whatever it's fine the best part is okay the best part about that is there were so many of them and the fact that there were so many of them left a really big impression on me but I don't remember what the fuckers looked like they yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what they look like they looked like a kind of a little gazelle. Lil Gazelle also sounds like a good, pretty good rapper. Yeah, rapper. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I, I, I'd call myself that, except for the fact it you, would have to be ironic, because <laughs> yeah, you're not Lil. I'm you're the, almost six foot tall and big and beardy. You're, you're the you're the size of uh, 
Uh, you're the size of a medium-sized professional athlete, basic, basically. <laughs> yup. Uh, okay, so what am I missing here? Basically, on Cor this? Corwin is the size of an early 2000s NHL power forward. <laughs> That's that's his basic aspect. You mean, are you saying Brendan Morrow? I'm pretty sure you were exactly Brendan, Brendan Morrow's size and weight at one point. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure the two of you at one point were the same size. And I think weight. that I think that was true. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so, oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I, I've been like so many so many wasted nights in the words of uh, Bart Simpson because I was trying to clean this and I was cleaning up the, the wrong, wrong side <laughs> yeah uh wait now it's the inner track armor uh okay come on there's got to be just some little bit around here i appreciate this map right because some of the, this is going to be a single vehicle that takes as long as a full map i agree with that and the, kind of the problems in some well, of these... Well, it's partially because of the fact that they are forcing me to use the, like... Little brush. Standard tool. Little brush also could be a wrapper, I guess. Um, <laughs> I agree with that. Actually, what we might even want to do is, before the next video, buy Uko a copy of this. Oh, and, oh, and then... Because you can co-op clean yeah, this. Yeah, did it come off the uh, the Game Pass? I don't know, but the DLC you'd need oh, to oh, buy. Oh, yeah, we have to buy. Yeah, you're right. Anyway. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. We've been meaning to do that anyway. Yup, we can... Yes, Coop the um, Deville. That's what we can do. That yes. doesn't make any sense either. But there's no such we're thing with it. There's no such thing as a convertible tank. <laughs> they're all they're all well, coo they're all coops. You know, when they get exploded, they convert to um, oh yeah, no they, longer a tank. Yeah, what do they call so, that? Jack in the boxing or whatnot? Yeah, <laughs> Jack it in the box. Whoa, whoa, oh whoa. Okay, the the, the tread will be soon be cleaned. I'm just going to clean all the things I see. Uh, ah, ultramarines. Ultramarines. Excellent. It just looks like regular blue to me, though. I, see, I knew you were going to go there. I didn't have to. You didn't have to, to prompt force you on that or anything. Yeah. yeah. But do, it does just look, it looks like regular blue. Well, or, that's I mean, because your eyes aren't um, genetically oh, enhanced. Oh, yeah, you're right. Also, we don't have the monitor technology. Yeah, to display this shit. Ultraviolet. Over here, exactly. also, you don't want ultraviolet light coming out of your eye. Uh, it punches monitor. your it punches your retina. Yep, it punches your retina and probably slowly gives you uh, skin cancer. So, are you are you are you aware that there are people out there who have a poor understanding of of former CRT TV technology, and because of the fact that you use x-ray tubes to generate x-rays they think that there are x-rays that come out of crt tvs <laughs> but it's just like a little bit wow in case you think that that's not true and it was never true i mean no shit it was never true <laughs> i guess if you if you manage to in if you bypassed so the i guess filter you capacitors do, although theoretically you might be able to make an x-ray monitor and it would it would send you the image even with your eyes closed. Yeah. Because <laughs> now that I think about it, if you buy if you took out some of the filter capacitors and other limitations inside the circuit that would just fr just fry, and then you massively overvolted and overamped the tube, like you might be able to make it into an X-ray TV for just a little while before the tube bursts. The old or like exploded or whatever. Tube. But uh. That's it, not that Nixie that's tubes not, are a different thing. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. I just wanted to say Nixie tubes, tubes because yeah. it just. But uh, just rest assured. It's satisfying that, to say Nixie tube. I don't rest know Rest assured that your old Magnavox was never giving you X-rays. <laughs> uh, there's just something satisfying about any word with the letter X. Don't I'm, pretty, you agree? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's why they called it that. What? Magnavox. Oh, no, I'm talking about Nixie tubes. Oh, oh, right. Well, Magnavox has an X too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But uh, there's just. Some, something about you know what else the letter is a, X that sounds cool. You know what else is a great word and logo? Telefunken. Telespunken. Because they were that German company that made, you know, tubes. I did not know that. I, I, I forget what other technology they invented that, you know, was used for... Uh, Telespunken. For, you know, various former well, technologies that don't matter in anymore. In my opinion, the best thing about the German language is the compound words. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's... I'm pretty sure Telefunken is is an example of that. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. That's I'm just saying that you know, if if there's any if I could point to any one thing I admire about 
the German language. It's the compound words and how cool they sound. Yeah, because and, and the thing is, it allows you to just like if you, you don't, we like, you don't, you don't wish there was a word for something. In, you just make a word. In in English, I I have to like call someone a dirty bitch as opposed to a dirty bitch. A dirty bitch. Like I could I could be like, no, that's a that's a that's a that's a separate word. That's bro. now a word. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe this explains why the Germans have a very loose attitude toward uh, profanity. It's like it's almost not a concept because if you can at just least so I've heard. Yeah, so I've heard. I don't speak German, so I don't know for Somebody sure. Somebody could be like, "Well, that's that's not fucking true." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, but if it, if it is true, I like the concept, and I think it may be related to how if you can just make words anytime you want by sticking words on top of other words, then how does it even make sense to say, "Oh, but you can't say that because it's crude." I heard you like words. So, so I I'm put gonna some, stick words some words and some other on words, your words so you can word while you word. That's a word. 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 <laughs> yeah. But it all comes back to The Simpsons, okay? Yeah. It all comes back yeah, cause that to The Simpsons. was the episode where the Backstreet, either the Backstreet Boys, no, it was in sync. In sync. Yeah. Look, the, okay, uh, this is one of those things. I can't, as a man I can't tell the difference. As a man who lived in the late 90s and early 2000s, I when, ba- when when boy bands roamed the boy earth, boy bands were not always Korean. <laughs> um, which they really have cornered the market. Like, yeah, yeah. K-pop has really cornered the the boy band market now. Yeah, if you were if you were on your way up in that industry, uh, you know, a few years back, you, you just got blindsided. And they're like, "Can you speak you Korean?" Got, and you're like, "No." no. And they're like, well, you're well, fucked. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not. Pay- we're not paying to. Uh, to we're not we're not paying big industry ass money to pretend like you guys are famous until you are well you know it's one of those things where i know that the music industry is like brutal and everything and you know always everybody's always getting fucked over in the music industry at least at least so i've heard you know i i can't really speak for the music everybody's industry. assholes but uh the uh the thing is right when you're when you're making like television or film that's like something where you can't it's not nearly as evergreen in my opinion as uh like no matter how good a thing you're making with television or film it'll always look there could always be a situation where someone's suddenly like well we don't like that thing anymore for some reason that's just society can like turn against rotate oh no it can it can at first i was afraid it couldn't because i could could i could tell you needed to rotate be like you know it's like no that lots of people have been calling the Marvel movies bad for years, but that didn't stop them from like getting made and making huge amounts of money. Oh yeah, but just suddenly out of nowhere, everyone hates them now. You know, it's and and everybody's like, well, that's over. So it uh, and and the really awkward thing when is you're, when you're making like boy bands or whatever. It's probably a, a better investment that you know you can make your money back on. Yeah, because people will always want, basically, uh, basically middle school aged girls will always want some stupid band to uh, to be a fan of. I mean, yeah, that's I, I, always I, a thing. You know, I, I, I'm not hating. I, I can't say necessarily whether the the band is stupid, having never listened to it. Do it. Yeah. But uh, regardless, people will always want that. Yeah, I may have been too harsh. <laughs> 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 uh, y'all may not be able to know from listening to our videos, but in in real life, Uko of the two of us is the far more acerbic and uh, hatery of the two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just not as punchy. Yeah, and, uh, and high energy. Yeah, and maybe I'm literally more... not as punchy as yeah. I am. <laughs> I, but I, but I, I am a little more cynical. I agree with that. I agree with that. I uh, although I'm I'm well aware that cynicism is a dry hole. Well, you are older than I am, so it makes sense that you'd be more cynical than yeah. I am. But uh, I couldn't really disagree with that and maintain my reputation as a cynic. You know? <laughs> yup. But uh, look, I I'm the kind of person who looks on the bright side of the Fallout universe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dude, the Fallout show is coming. I know. That's I know. a thing. I, I also I'm excited for also whatever the, the fuck show. they eventually release the Fallout 4 like next gen update because yes. I'm hoping you know 
although not having huge amounts of faith that they'll make it where Fallout 4 on the PC will run <clears throat> beyond like 72 frames per second or something. Yeah. Because uh, that's always been unfortunate that it's been like capped at 72 frames per is second. Is that really how it is? There's probably some way to like make Force it run it, But then faster, it screws it up somehow? But Meh. I would I would like for it to just, you know, natively run that Wait, way. Is that why Fallout VR is so weird? Um, I don't know. They probably, probably did something probably about did some, that. Because surely it runs above uh, 72. Yeah. Because I played a fair bit of that. But and I never. Uh, I always thought it was a little weird. I just want a new Fallout game. That's. Yes. Or like maybe a Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas remaster. That would be. I'm into that. <clears throat> oh, really cool. Also, my voice is dying just as we're finally pretty much finished with this fucker of mothers. I. I think that it's one of these parts over here that's still I, I, I love how everything all of the like the the bits you have in this are Warhammery. Oh, it, yeah. just, it makes me I'm uh, what I'm really surprised about is that that thing had a safety railing at all. <laughs> that doesn't seem very Warhammer. Uh, somebody somebody probably got it through as like, no, it's just a decoration for the glory oh, of the emperor. That's, yeah, that's why they're so decorative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a crest. It's not safety. It's a, it's, it's it's hyper patriotism. It's patriotic. Yup. Okay, where is where are the bits that I? This I'm thing not... looks pretty spiffy, man. Yeah, yeah. It's clean. It's looking good. It cleans up good. Spiffy and spnifty. Which is spiffy and yeah, nifty at yeah, the same take, time. Take a spin around it real quick so we can see. Oh it. yeah, oh, I'm going to finish cleaning this cupola, cupola hatch, and then uh, it's not the last thing. So oh, okay, good. It won't end immediately. That's one thing I would actually like to see in this game is the ability to walk around it afterward. I agree a with that. After it, I agree it with that. Fully finishes. Okay, look, this is this is nice. This is a fine motherfucker, appropriate. For an ultramarine. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, this is dope. It's like a fat Omega, too. It is, you, yeah. You see how it's a fat Omega? <laughs> Did you know that an Omega in a uh, in a serif font is just like a U? You mean a sans serif font? I mean a sans serif font, yeah. <laughs> or, oh, you mean like a serif U. I see what you're saying. Either way. I, actually, I see what you're saying. Actually, it's the, uh, there is no joke there. Yeah. It's, it's just a yeah. U either way. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Um, so where's ah uh, uh, uh. and it, and yet it's still and yet it still is Filthy not done. Chaos Grime um, can't hide from us. Assault hatch frame sigils and the toe ring, the armor hatches and the inner track armor. Okay, so we got a little bit more inner track armor. Got its inner thigh over here. There we go. And, oh yeah! Uh, w there we go. And this is probably not. I I heard complete. The, I heard the toe rings are not good for your feet. <laughs> really? Yeah. But it was probably a podiatrist that said that shit, and they just want you to come in and get your feet examined. Yeah, they're just trying to trick you into having healthy feet. They're trying to they try to get you in there and cure your foot pain. <laughs> yeah, it's like the fifth Simpsons joke. Oh yeah. Uh, See, can, can you tell? On, can, can you tell that out of the two lores, we know more of more Simpsons lore than Warhammer <laughs> Warhammer lore? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, how come? Okay, if if they ever do a proper remaster of the Simpsons Hit and Run, okay. that also needs to come into okay, this. Okay, where where's the last sigil? That's, that's I need you to acknowledge that. Wait, what was that again? If they ever do a proper remaster of the Simpsons Hit and Run, that also needs a crossover with this. I agree with that. Wash where, off Homer's where's car. Where's the assault hatch? What exactly oh, is I bet, an assault I bet hatch? it's right in the front. We, like, um, ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, where's the where's the the sigil? Where's the grime? Where's the sigil? <laughs> I bet it's the eagle itself. No, that's the Aquila. Oh, okay. Because it's an eagle. Uh, 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 I saw it for a second. I saw it for a second. Um, where it's the not fuck the skull? Is it? No, apparently not. That's weird. Um, I swear I saw it for a second. Let me just clean the skull anyway. Um, there we go. Okay. There we go. That was fucking weird. That was fucking weird. Let's let's see the, you know, the time Tim, lapse. The Tim lapse. The pro, see the prolapse. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's that's fucked up.
That's fucked up. This would have been so much faster if we'd done it together. But uh, we'll do the next one together. That's gonna be, that's gonna be freaking dope. Um, a Redemptor Dreadnought. Hell yeah, oh, Redemptor Dreadnought. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that schmex hit thumbs up button. Make sure you ring the bell to keep getting notified of the delicious waffle content. Waffle Bros signing out.